We took a stroll through Walmart to see what is considered essential or non-essential. Let's go. Here is what we found. Walmart says it's okay to barbecue your food, but you're not allowed to fry, bake, steam, air fry, toast, or microwave. All of those appliances are non-essential, only barbecue. Maybe it's a ploy to get us to eat out? Support the small business? Even though it's a stay-at-home order, hmm, makes a lot of sense. Okay, also you're allowed to paint your home, but not with a paintbrush and no spray paint. Either of these are non-essential, but wait, I have a suggestion for this later on. Okay, all electronics are non-essential and hence are blocked off. So are clothing, shoes, underwear, pantyhose, and even hats. No hats, people. But ladies, don't fret. You can still get all of your cosmetic needs and of course your hair dye to keep looking pretty and young because that's what's important. Now here's my tip about painting your home. You can go to the makeup section and get a large makeup brush since those are essential and paint brushes are not. Okay, let's keep going. We cannot access electronics. So what do we do? Well, let's take the kids outside. Oh wait, we can't buy any sports equipment or balls or bicycles or even a bathing suit. All of that is unessential. Okay, well, maybe it's because many of you I know have tried to use a bikini as underwear and we know how the government feels about underwear, not essential down with underwear. Okay, so we can't buy the kids toys or educational material or books or art or anything like that. Those are all not essential, of course. Okay, now I've got a headache, okay? Let's head over to the pharmacy section. It's a good thing vitamins are essential and hence are available. So are antihistamines, antibacterials, painkillers, but the section and the inventory looks like the pharmacy shelves on The Walking Dead. Okay, let's keep going. Other essentials include car oil, windshield fluid, weed killer, awesome, and diapers, but only for babies because adult diapers look too much like underwear. And well, we've already talked about how this government feels about underwear. They have a major problem with them. In summary, here is the new world order according to Walmart. Number one, underwear is evil. Number two, barbecue is the only acceptable cooking method. Number three, electronics are evil unless it's a barbecue or a curling iron. Number three, junk food and candy are essential, but exercise of any kind is not necessary. Number five, coffee doesn't matter. Okay, that's where I draw the line, people, come on. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna finish this off with a positive message, okay? The government doesn't know what to do next, that is clear. This is all untreaded territory. Everyone's a little lost. My advice is to be patient and go one day at a time. You decide what is essential for you and your family and your life. And no one gets to tell you what's important for you. Governments are here to provide not to restrict. We are citizens, not prisoners. If it's on the shelf, it's for sale. Let us decide. Use your logic and always come from a place of love and light. That's all I have for you today. I'm your positivity princess and I come to you with a message not to give you pain, but to show you that you need to use your own mind in these types of situations. I love you so much. Have a great day and A, B positive. Mwah.